There are days when sometimes you feel almighty. Sometimes you feel invincible. That you can slap your bitch without going to jail. It's not you can pay child support. It's like one of those days you just hide and it and nobody just can't stop you. And it's like two kids finally on your side. There are times where you may feel like you're the greatest motherfucker in the goddamn world in this universe. And there are times when you get back up, your teammates will help you and succeed together. But in reality, 2K is just pure shit. What's going on with y'all motherfuckers? It's y'all boy that game quite here to bring you back with another video. And yeah, there are times. There are also times where you think you're the greatest, but 2 ks tell us something. Let me uh, tell you something right quick. Let me show you something right quick and tell you otherwise. 2K will make you feel like shit. And there are times where you may feel tipsy like a big person and fall over and trip and try to make yourself the greatest person. But people are all laughing at you. <coughs> it's okay. It's definitely okay. If you just think about it, maybe one day you can be the greatest. That all this embarrassing moment will pay off. And maybe... You can get off of child support, find your wife, because even though females ain't shit, maybe it's still possible that it's females out there that are loyal. Boy, if you don't get We will never know in this world. There are times where you miss layups, you question yourself, why the fuck did I make this archetype? Why? Like, why? What can I do? What more can I do? Like, can I become a cyborg? A robot, Area 51 itself, what the fuck do I gotta do? And it's like, it's, it's scary, you have nightmares, you start dreaming. Is NBA even worth it? Like, you miss floaters. 2K automatically make you miss a lot of shots. It make you feel like you're the most trashiest nigga in the whole world. It make you feel like an amateur. He was just talking all that shit. About amateur ones, niggas can't do shit with it. Like, from my personal experience, I see a lockdown can't go out a freaking slasher, bro. A pure lockdown versus an 80 overall. Like, can you really believe that? It's so mind-boggling, and it's crazy. Like, this has to stop. <laughs> it has to stop. Like, this madness has to stop. We must save the world. Like, what the fuck do I have to do? If I'm missing layers and making myself like a fucking jackass... Like a dumbass fucking idiots hopping around like a bug's bunny about to get shot by Emma Fudge. You know, what can I do? It's like so much in life, like, what can I do? I'm, it's so empty, like, it's crazy and it's, it hurts my heart. <laughs> it makes you want to cry. It's like, would I ever get a wife who is. Any females like wife material, but the more the story, we will never know in this real world. He gets to make the floater, but my teammate cannot make an open floater. Like, can you believe this? Can you believe this? Me is a least, and these on on pros, except for I'm the freaking pro, but I can make shots like that. Like, where has 2K even come towards in this real world? Like, fuck this shit. Fuck everybody, and most importantly, go fuck yourself. I'm just kidding with y'all, I'm bullshitting. What's good with y'all, YouTube? It's your boy, that game. Okay, this has been going on for like four minutes. But I hope you're having a good day. If you're new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button. Make sure to leave a like. Click on post notifications to be notified whenever I post new videos. But you see this shit right here is making my glass clean up ass. Like, 2K20 better not bring this energy to 2K20 because... I would be so disappointed that they downgrade glass cleaners like that. Such a long time ago, glass cleaner get hit three points in 2K17 was the most overpowered. By doing the screen, somebody would have a falling animation. Just by doing the screen, you can make somebody fall and hit their head or some shit. Now, glass cleaners can't do this shit no more. Seriously? It's my bug. <sighs> Oh, no, I'm not, I know I'm not making I'm making the videos like I used to, you know, uh, having my face in the camera, like making a challenge or something like that, though. But, you know, I gotta speak my shit. 2K19 might come so close. 
Somebody gotta say it. Somebody gotta say somebody's shitty ass game. Like, come on, bro. But don't waste your time going to Chris Manning or LD2K because he's gonna give you that message to someone there's always 2K you, you can practice. They really burnt everybody. That shit was funny, though. But 2K needs some issues to fix, bro. It doesn't make any sense at all. Like, I'm so disappointed how 2K become. 2K is kind of the most shittiest game ever produced. Like, fuck it. Whoever was watching the stream and saw that, my boy Nate, I know you watched it and see what's going on. You seen the whole thing while I was live streaming, bro. This shit is maddening. It's maddening. It's invigorating. It's senseless. Just look at this. 2K doesn't have no fun no more. It does not. Nowadays, you see our freaking pair. I'm to have his take on where he can hit a three pointer consistent. But a shot shooter can't hit consistent. Ain't that crazy? Ain't it crazy how you have a jump shot for eight months and now they build on you like that? Was, you know, 2K20 about to come out and that's when you never all the shot shooters from scratch bigs. And it's ironic. But if it, it video about to come to a close, I hope you learn something from this stupid fucking game. But subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure to leave a like. Click on post notifications to be notified whenever I post new videos. I very much appreciate it if you comment because I'm going through it right now with 2K and I'm about to cry and I'm on child support. Thank you. Have a great day.